Okay guys, Paul Inventor 3 here. It's starting to drizzle on me right now. Weather's getting bad. This is the last video guys of the free energy from air circuit until next season, until next year. So solid clouds up there. I keep getting knocked out by the rain consistently. Uh, it's only 40 degrees out here now. That's why in the beginning I tried so hard to get my antenna wires going into the lab so that I knew I could work on it all, all year. But we weren't able to do that. So one of the last tests that I was going to do was I've got a second antenna wire going up there and I was going to attach a second circuit, second antenna wire and I went to do that and I had a bad component in my circuit. I went to I had one one antenna wire and one circuit all set up and connected to the ground, the coils, everything and then added the second circuit, had it all attached, and I attached it as I went to attach the two outputs together. Uh, there was a large spark, and all of a sudden that circuit was just no good. Voltage all of a sudden went down. I didn't even get a chance to see any kind of output. Uh, so that second circuit went dead on me first circuit is still good. Uh, I replaced the large capacitors and all of a sudden I tested it again after replacing the large capacitors. Circuit was still no good. I checked the components, found it that I had one bad diode in there. It was checking 0.6 volts across it instead of 0.3, 0.4 like a germanium should check. So I replaced that diode and the circuit was still bad. So I checked all the small capacitors. They all check good. So it's got to be one of my large capacitors yet that I just replaced. One of them must be bad. I should have ch uh, I don't have a capacitor checker to check the large ones. Uh, so it's getting late in the day and my hands are getting a little numb and that's it so we're gonna have to wait till next year now guys with uh, some more videos and more tests on this stuff uh, I was really anxious to try that second circuit in the second antenna there <sighs> but it's just <laughs> hours are going by right now <laughs> and fixing those circuits up and figuring out what's wrong so you guys out there man don't, don't stop don't stop experimenting man keep going with this I mean free energy belongs to us the people you know uh, that's it man it belongs to us you know it shouldn't cost us a friggin dime man uh, so yeah keep keep going on it and and don't let things discourage you because I've been discouraged more times than I can count. Just like today, hours of messing around with just one circuit, man. It started raining on me, then stopped, and oh man, this morning it was, it's just bad weather. It's, it's, it's not getting any better now. So, I mean, today is actually a beautiful day compared to how it's been recently. Uh, went outside this morning my wife asked me how it was this morning it was real sunny I said yeah I said, it's only 50 degrees out but uh, the Sun is shining there's no wind I said it's a beautiful day <laughs> but uh, yeah now it's like here it's in the afternoon now I think about 4 4 30 and now it's temperatures already dropped to like 40 degrees and it's just getting colder and I was lucky to have some sunlight this morning. But anyhow, I want to tell everybody, yeah, keep going with everything. Uh, I'm going to be back at it next season, that's for sure. And all winter, I hope you guys follow me with uh, the Tesla coils. 
So we're going to be doing a lot of work on the Tesla coils and getting up, uh, them up and running and trying to work with anti-gravity again. Uh, so the thing is to get these suckers tuned. So, uh, so the next video you're going to see is going to be of Tesla coils. So anybody that's not interested in the Tesla coil project and anti-gravity and all that, uh, we'll see you guys next year. Otherwise, everybody who's following me is going to be following me with Tesla coils. I hope to see everybody. So we'll see you again. That's it. We'll see you to uh, next video. See you later.